This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 nah. Beloved Hip Hop Hollywood is coming back on Friday. July 26th. Yes, yes, yes. Next week on VH1. And it looks like there's going to be a lot going on. Oh, this looks good. Safari's going to be on there working with Chanel West Coast on some music. Mm -hmm. Y'all still watch that? Now, Monique Slaughter. It hasn't started yet. Mm. Monique Slaughter is dating a woman now, as you can see on there. And Fetty Wap's ex, Alexis Skye, and Masika, who he has a child with, are going to be fighting and arguing, of course. And that's been going on on social media and everything. Brooke Valentine is going to be on there with her, I guess, fiance. We don't know what's going to happen with that. We haven't seen Brooke Valentine in a long time. Remember that old record girl fight? That's what it was called. About to be a. I just remember that when I used to do radio in Charleston, South Carolina, that song I used to play all the time. Yeah, I was working at Virgin Records. I worked with that record. All right, now Keisha Cole and Daniel Booby Gibson have also joined the cast. And I didn't know this, but they still live together. Here's what happened in the preview. Keisha Cole, I'm back and I'm better than ever. I have a new album, new label. Some good things come to an end so that you can start a new fresh. You know, we got to hit the reset. He lives with me. He lives with you. Yeah. Do you want to be married? I do need to just have this talk. Yeah, so they are still co-parenting and living together as well. Now, Tierra Marie is going to have to go to rehab, and she's been struggling. And she's also dating Cisco. if you remember Cisco. Song Song Cisco? No, Cisco oh. from Love & Hip Hop, the one that used to work with Uncle Murda. Oh, the one in the Creep Squad. Yeah, he was part of the Creep, Creep Squad. Mm-hmm. Okay. All He's right. in L.A. now? Uh, yeah, he's on this, I guess, being on the show. Okay. Uh, so here is what happens with Tierra Marie. So she does have a drinking problem. Is that what y'all saying? Let's be specific. She's an alcoholic. This is a disease and a detox center doesn't help. You are now a trigger. All he wants to do is separate people who do love you. Your friends are not your friends, Tierra. I don't have no friends. My name's Christina. Your friends asked me to help with your drinking. Get up the out of my face. This is bull****. Is that why she gained all that weight? So they tried to do an intervention for her. It's kind of hard for Tierra Marie, man. You got to think, you know, when uh, Jay-Z first relaunched his label with Def Jam, it was Rihanna and Tierra Marie. They both got a shot. One went on to massive success. The other one just went on to be massive. Mass wise, so it's just oh, like, nice yeah, to see. Yeah, I like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, that. Happened. That happened. That's sometimes. not nice, but she's going through a lot. So hopefully oh, we see man. her because it is a, a difficult journey for her Poor to Marie. be on TV and have to show that to the world. Yeah. Show what to the world? The weight. She told me gain the weight. She chose to be. And on I'm camera. also talking about her uh, alcohol problems, oh. and not just her weight. And all right. Anyway, Kevin Hart just recently gave a homeless woman four hundred dollars. He was spreading some positivity. Here's what happened. I'm going to help you out, okay? Sure. I want you to do something good with the money, all right? Yeah. Okay. That's like $400. Oh, my God. All right, here. You made a promise, okay? You yeah. made a promise to do what? Do something good with the money. All right, that's $400. Go do something good with it, okay? I will. Thank and you. And if I oh, was, I love you, you folks, yeah. It's weird when it happens or how it happens, but at the most inopportune times, something will happen that touches your heart. And that woman honestly touched my heart. That's dope. Did she check to see if the bills were real? I'm sure they were real. It's I'm just Kevin making Hart. sure. I know they're, they're probably real because they're from Kev. Just making sure. I'm sure they're Drop real. Drop one of the clues bombs for Kevin Hart, damn it. Great guy. It's a nice feel-good story. And another one is Killer Mike. He got his own day in Atlanta. Oh, uh, drop one of the clues bombs for Killer Kev. Mm-hmm. Yes, yesterday, Monday, July 17th, is Killer Mike Day. Now, here is Killer Mike. And I challenge you today to create a permit that allows teenagers to sell water. <laughs> Challenging these young people to vote with an entrepreneurial spirit. City council members, I challenge you to make sure that this city is not polarized by race yeah. and or class. Yeah. I challenge you to make sure that Delphine has affordable housing. Yeah. Killer Mike is one of my top seven favorite MCs of all time and one of my favorite people of all time, man. So congratulations to Killer Mike. Shout yes. out to Killer Mike. Rest in peace to his mom too, man. All right, now let's talk about a new season of MTV Scream. Tyga and C.J. Wallace are set to star in that new season. C.J. Wallace is Biggie's son. They bring him back Scream? Yeah, they're going to be series regulars on Scream. It's going to air as a three-night event in March next year. So last season was produced in New Orleans. This season will be heading to Atlanta. There's going to be an entirely new cast and everything. 
So congratulations to them. Horror movies are just not scary no more, man. You know when horror movies are scary? No, when they're based off are. real life the situations. Con- the Conjuring and The Conjuring 2. I don't do scary movies. So. I love scary movies. I, listen, every flight that I've been taking recently, I always watch all the scary movies when they have like the movies you could watch on the plane. Because that's the only time I really watch movies. But even when I'm at home, I always try to watch horror movies all the time. I love horror movies. I, 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 I'll watch them if I'm at home, but I don't pay nobody to scare so, me. You know scary I think me? The Conjuring was like the, out of the... F- past few years, The Conjuring and The Conjuring Two were like What's the it scariest. About? Um, you got to see it. You never saw The Conjuring? I don't think so. You, I'm telling you, that's a scary movie right there. I live, in, I live in the woods. That's scary. Oh, my and the my other wife one? just called me and said there's a snake in my garage. That's, what that's I'm scary. Saying. To me. Real life is way more scary. I ain't going in the scarier. garage now. You ever watch Freddy's <laughs> Creek? If you watch Nightmare on Elm Street now, it's that's a comedy. Now. It's funny. There's now. a comedy. Now. It's funny. Friday the Thirteenth nope. comedies, man. Oh, Don't Breathe. That was a scary movie too. If you ever saw that, I'm gonna tell you the last. Two horror movies I saw in my probably the past ten years. What? Precious. Um, Precious is not a scary Precious. movie. You crazy? That's an African American <laughs> horror movie. And um, oh, for Colored Girls, that was an African American horror movie. Anyway, that was not a scary movie. I'm Angela Yee, and that's your rumor report. Hey, 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 hey. The Breakfast Club every weekday morning. Tune in.